Are you looking for new construction or maybe you're considering Lakewood Ranch or you're considering East Sarasota or you're considering Venice or Inglewood or even Wella Park? So the two ma big master plan communities are Wella Park and Lakewood Ranch and they're doing a ton of new construction. I'm going to give you three communities in this video that are flying under the radar, underrated regarding the amenities, the location. I would greatly advise you to consider these three neighborhoods that I'm going to talk about in this video. Hi, I'm Ryan Zachos with Zachos Realty Design Group out of Sarasota, Florida. I was born and raised here in Sarasota. I started this firm with my father as a retired Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. We've had the opportunity and privilege to help hundreds of buyers relocate to the area. And that's a passion of ours of helping people acclimate to the area, to learn the area and provide them all the necessities that they need in relocating here. In this video, I'm gonna give you three neighborhoods that I have personally sold in that I believe are super underrated and they provide tremendous value. It's like living in a resort here in the Sarasota area. These three neighborhoods are Talon Preserve, Aria, and Esplanada Sky Ranch. So let's start with Talon Preserve and Aria. Both these communities are on the south side of Sarasota. Talon Preserve is on the south side of Palmer Ranch called Talon Preserve and Palmer Ranch. And Aria is there in North Venice. I love these communities because of the proximity to the beach. In Talon Preserve, there's about 925, 26 homes in Talon Preserve. It just started being built in 2020, so there's still ways to go for new construction. They offered villas starting in the high 400s and go single family homes all the way up to 1.3, 1.4 million. We actually are selling a, a home in there right now for 1.375. It's a spectacular home on a large, unbelievable private lot, pool home, it has all, you know, all the upgrades and everything else. But that's kind of the high-end example of what Talon Preserve is offering. But what I love about Talon Preserve very few communities in the whole entire area, even at Lakewood Ranch Well Park, have a liquor license and offer full service bar and restaurant. Talent Preserve offers that along with all the amenities that you would expect at any resort style community. Resort style pool, hot tub, fitness center, restaurant bar, tennis courts, pickleball courts, bocce ball, everything. There's a playground for kids, a splash pad for kids. There's, a, there's everything and there's even a game room within the community center itself, the fitness area. So there's a game room that has a basketball game and then it's got tons of arcade games and it's a wonderful little game room for, for kids or even adults. The, the community is spectacular, it's gated. The HOA is only $350, around $350 a month. There's no CDD, which is hugely important in new construction. CDDs are very common within new construction communities, so there's no additional fees regarding CDDs. Talent Preserve provides access to the Legacy Trail. I think that's an unbelievable value add to be able to go out of the back of the community, hop onto a trail. Legacy Trail shoots you all the way to downtown Sarasota so you can ride your bike in theory, you can jog all the way to downtown Sarasota or you can go to downtown Venice. It gives you beach access, whether it's going to downtown Sarasota, jumping on the trolley, heading out to Lido, uh, going to downtown Venice, shooting onto Venice Island, going out to the beach, grabbing a drink, and then being in that location right on the south side of 681, close to 75, five miles to Nokomis Beach. Where can you buy new construction? and about five miles to the beach. It's super rare. It's again, with all the menus that the communities offers, I think everyone should consider Talent Preserve as a community. Go check it out. Obviously, I would love to help you with it. We've done some transactions in there and know the community really well and I'd be able to, to negotiate and help you with, with that purchase. Aria is the next one. Aria is in North Venice. It's a very small community compared to Talent Preserve. The HOAs are gonna be a little bit higher than that, uh, but there is no CDD in Aria. Aria is a Neil community. Neil is a very well-respected builder. Talent Preserve, I don't know if I mentioned it, but Talent Preserve is a DeVosta community. So DeVosta is Pulte and Del Webb. So again, another really well-respected builder, national builder. And then Aria is Neil, which again is very, very respected in what they're doing, their quality, the, the finishes. They do a really excellent job. I would highly recommend Neil as a builder. I'd highly recommend Aria. It's a very luxury feeling community, a single family homes only, gated community, about 2,200 square feet to over 3,000 square feet. So these are bigger homes in the community. Again, bigger lots, less homes. There's only about 196 homes within the community, but it's gonna have an amazing amenities. It's a gated community, it's maintenance free. There's that resort style pool, there's a fitness center, spa, there's an event lawn, everything that you would expect again in a resort style community Aria offers. I love Aria, again, it's on the North Venice side. Very underrated area, super up and coming. A lot of new construction that's hitting this area because of the location and proximity to downtown Venice and the beach. You can be on Venice Island in, in about seven miles. Talent Preserve is about five miles to Nokomis Beach. Aria is about seven miles to the beaches. It's right in the mix of it all. If you don't want to sacrifice the location to the beach by moving to, to Welland Park or Lakewood Ranch, I'd highly consider this North Venice corridor 
because it does give you great proximity to the beach. You know, I've sold a ton in there when people see the relation on, on a map and geographically and how easy it is to access downtown Sarasota or downtown Venice and the beaches. Those two are there. The third community I want to talk about is Sky Ranch. There's Esplanada Sky Ranch in particular that I want to highlight. Sky Ranch is a large community, about 1,200 homes and townhomes and villas that make up Sky Ranch between Cassia and Esplanade. They're Taylor Morrison products. There's a couple custom builders that operate within Sky Ranch as well, and neither Weather Ancient or the Runberg. These are going to be higher price point estate style homes. There's very few lots with these builders in those communities. But Sky Ranch, again, is an unbelievable, if you know anything about Esplanades and Taylor Morrison, there's Esplanade Golf and Country Club in Lakewood Ranch, there's Esplanade of Desario in Lakewood Ranch. There's an Esplanade in Palmer Ranch. So if you know anything about Esplanade, you know that Taylor Morrison does not leave any stone unturned, resort style pool, unbelievable large amenity center. I think it's 25,000 square feet here in Sky Ranch, uh, the amenity center. It includes multiple pools. They actually have an adults only pool. They have a lap pool. They have a splash pad. They have a playground. They have tennis courts. They have pickleball courts. They have baseball fields, softball fields, soccer fields. It's like literally living in its own master plan community, but just within a neighborhood. So there's everything that you can imagine. They have trails that go through there. They have ponds that you can walk and there's a dog park. Literally anything and everything you can imagine is within this community. It's a wonderful place to live. I love that it is on the south side of Sarasota and it's not as south, it's more central Sarasota. It's east obviously, but it's more in central Sarasota compared to Talent Preserve and Aria. So if you're not wanting to go as far south and you wanna be closer to downtown Sarasota, Sky Ranch is gonna be a place that you wanna check out. You're only about eight miles or so to Siesta Key, which obviously Siesta Key is, as you know, is one of the most world renowned, highly regarded beaches of the whole entire country and Clark Road, which is where Sky Ranch, you know, you enter from Clark Road, you actually shoot straight onto Stickney Point Bridge, which is the South Bridge of Siesta Key, which gives you great access to Siesta Key. So just a quick drive straight down Clark Road and you're on Siesta Key. And then you have a, you're a lot closer to downtown Sarasota and everything downtown Sarasota has to offer. UTC, Lakewood Ranch, or on the north side, there's a lot more going on in that area. So if you want to stay closer to that area, I would highly consider Sky Ranch. You're in a wonderful school district there in Sky Ranch as well, and being in the South Sarasota School District. The homes in here, they have villas starting in the 400s, and then they have single family homes that go obviously way up from there up to that million dollar price point. And the HOA is going to be about $350 again a month. There is a CDD in Esplanade, and there's no CDD in, in Aria or Talent Preserve, but there is a CDD in Esplanade. That's probably about $1,800 off the top of my head a year. It's rolled into your tax bill. Just an additional fee that you want to want to think of when you're when you're looking at purchasing and running your numbers. But again, Esplanade is like living in a master planned community. It's like living its own little mini version of Lakewood Ranch all into one neighborhood. It's a wonderful neighborhood, wonderful community. I highly recommend checking it out. If you have any questions, want any more details on these communities, obviously we know these really, really well. We would love to be a resource for you. Please drop a note, send us an email, shoot us a text with that, with that phone number we're providing. We would love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.